we're checking out Chat Control Red. The most customizable and feature-rich chat plugin you will probably ever encounter for Minecraft. This one actually is really impressive. This plugin makes your chat look incredibly organized, beautiful and clean. It allows you to filter swear words, advertisements, it can prevent spam. On top of that, you can create multiple chat rooms. It has full bungee cord support and you can even connect it to your Discord server. This plugin can literally do anything with your Minecraft chat. And today I'm going to show you some of these awesome features. Before we start, do make sure to subscribe to my channel. You would help me out so much by doing that. You actually would. And then without any further ado, let's dive right into it. Have you ever wanted to create a truly unique Minecraft server, but you don't know anything about Java code and have no clue where to start? Then Project Orion by Mine Academy might be something for you. They will teach you how to code your own Minecraft plugins in Java and manage a Minecraft network, including how to advertise and hire a team. They will even teach you how to use your Java knowledge on other projects outside of Minecraft. They have coaching calls twice a week and a thriving 2000 plus member community. Mine Academy usually charges annual fees, but as a special offer for Casasera viewers, you can enroll for a fraction of the cost and for a lifetime. So make sure to check them out through the link down below. And thanks a lot to Mine Academy for sponsoring this video. So as soon as we join the server, you will see a nice cool join message. This you can of course completely customize. So hello Casasera, we kindly welcome you to test, which is the server name, and wish you a great experience. Now this all looks fine. It looks normal. It is just an MOTD. But when we now type something in chat, for example, hello, you can see a lot of stuff is happening. So what do we got? We got an X symbol. Remove this message from chat for all players. We got a VIP rank. We got my name, which has a beautiful gradient color that you can, of course, also completely customize. And then the message. Now, one of the cool things about chat control red is that it has a lot of interactive parts. So when I click on my username here, click to message, bam, I can send a direct message to that person without having to type out the whole command. So now I can just say, hello and there we go now you also got this x symbol and you will see that in front of every single chat i make now i'm clearly spamming and if you're a moderator then you want to remove these spam messages you can easily do that by clicking on the x there we go and it's gone. Now, of course, only moderators and people with permissions will be able to see these access and remove these messages. Now, one of the coolest features in Chat Control Red is that you have multiple different channels. So when I type slash channel and then list, I will get a list of all the current channels. So we got a standard channel, we got an admin channel, global channel, and a ranged channel. So what are all these channels and how do they work? Well, you can see that in the standard channel, I'm currently in write mode which means that as soon as i type a message in chat like for example hello it will appear inside of the standard channel now the admin channel the global channel and the range channel are all on read so if a message gets sent in one of these channels then I will still be able to read it. But when I send a message myself, it will not be sent inside of these channels, but only in the standard one. Now, when you just type slash channel, you will actually be able to switch channels. So currently you can see I'm in the standard channel. But if I want to switch to, for example, the admin channel to talk with other moderators and admins, then I can simply click here and there we go when i now type hello it will be sent in the admin channel and when i now do channel list you can see that i'm currently writing in the admin channel but i can still read standard and global and ranged now if i don't want to see what's happening in the standard or in the global channel you can leave them so when i click here there we go you left global uh you left standard so currently i won't see anything that gets sent in here it is such a cool system now any of these channels you can connect to bungee cords or to Discord, meaning that you can make a specific channel that is network wide, meaning that if you send a message, everyone on the whole network will be able to see it. And in that same way, you can also connect one of the channels to a Discord server, so all the messages you send will be sent in Discord too. It is so overpowered, it is so cool. Now, this plugin has a lot more very cool features. For example, it supports hex codes. So if I type a random color code here, for example, FFBB33, 
and then hello there how are you doing then you can see it has a nice cool custom color also it will be able to print certain pictures in chat so when we do slash chc announce and then we're gonna do an image and the image is gonna be the creeperhead.png which is a picture stored inside of the config file and then we just do 10 there we go <laughs> it is now printed this plugin also has very cool variables so when i have an item in my hands and i then type item in between brackets and I press enter, then it will autofill with the item I'm currently holding. That is that's just cool stuff. Now, another very cool feature, books. So when you type slash chc, which stands for chat control red, and then book, and after that, we're gonna open the book, and the only book we have currently going on is help, so we're gonna open help, and there we go. Hello, Casasura. This is an example of a help. Now, you can, of course, completely customize these books to the way you want. So, for example, you could make a rule book, and you can then even make it so that as soon as you join the server over here there will be a piece of text that says for example rules and then you can click on there and by clicking on there it will open this book that is very cool and very professional so here we got my second account brad shop i invited him on so we can test a few things out by default without adding any permissions brad shop will not be able to talk at all what well, is because brad shop doesn't have any permission for any channel when we type slash channel join then we're gonna do let's do standard why not we're gonna put him in right mode and then we want to put bradshop in right mode player bradshop has joined the standard channel and when he now types you can actually see it appear in chat now if we don't like the message he sent we can just delete it there we go and when bradshop types something that is labeled as advertisement so for example some kind of link you can see advertisements detected and it is blocked it will not appear at all and we will get an advertisement detection if if Bradshaw writes a swear word, then it will also be blocked. Only these stars will appear in chat, which lets other players know that he was swearing. And we, as the administrator, will see what word he actually said. And then, if we want, we can punish him accordingly. When we now type slash channel list, you can see that me and Bradshaw are both in the standard channel. But when I leave this standard channel, there we go, I will of course not be able to see what Bradshaw sends. Which, if you're a mod on the server, you probably want to know what he's doing in there and that is why we got the slash spy command so when you do slash spy and then on it will enable all spying for kasai sora so when bradshop now sends something in chat you can see this cool little spy prefix meaning that we are not in this channel currently ourselves but still we're able to see what he is sending and we can even delete it without being in the channel now to further understand how exactly this plugin works we're in the config so first of all we got settings.yml and over here you will be able to change most basic settings. Now, this config is absolutely huge. It has 1500 lines of config, but a big part of that is also explanation, which is great. It is so easy to understand stuff because everything is just explained here, and it makes it so much more easy to customize this plugin. But then we got a lot of other folders. So, over here, we got books, and this is, of course, where all the books are saved that we saw in game earlier. Over here, we got the help book, but if you would like to create a book yourself, you can do that either in game game or through this config. Then we get the formats. So this covers the spy formats, the MOTD, so the message that we see as soon as we join the server. Also the global chat, the normal chat, admin chat, pretty much how your chat looks. That is what you can customize here. And once again, there is so much explanation and there's also a full wiki page. So if you can't figure it out by just reading all of this, there's a wiki page that will go even more in detail. But you can, for example, customize the delete chat icon that you will see in front of every single single message. Over here, you also got the VIP prefix. If you also have an owner rank and an admin rank, then you can just copy paste this section and add all your other rank prefixes too. Then we got discord prefix, read prefix, spy prefixes even. There is so much stuff here. It is absolutely awesome. Here we also got the gradient. So I had a red yellow gradient going on in game. We can change that. You can even change the command it will suggest when you click on the player name. You can customize everything. Literally, everything. Then over here we also got images. So this is the creeper head.png we saw in game. You can of course add your own images here. But probably the most overpowered part of this whole plugin is the rules. So rules are basically filters for your chat. So just to take a very quick look, let's go to chat.rs and over here you can completely customize your filters. Over here we got match wanna and it will replace the word wanna when you type it in game with the text want 
to. Same thing goes for Ghana, so Ghana will replace to going to. But over here, a little bit more complicated one, prevent begging for ranks. So if it matches any of these words, and then an I, and then have, be, become, get, has, and then OP, admin, mod, builder. Those are all words that you would normally use in a sentence where you beg for a rank. Then you can make it send a message. For example, currently we are not looking for new staff, just automatically. Then prevent people saying bad things about your server. So it tries to match this server is bad, crappy, shitty, sucks, and then it will automatically send a message back. So in this case, it will rewrite, I love this server, which is just funny. That's awesome. Now, of course, it does take a little bit of knowledge to customize this all yourself. It is not as easy as a regular simple config file, but that is what makes this plugin so powerful. Everything is customizable here. And this plugin is really for those who want to take their chat and their Minecraft server to the next level. You can even make custom variables. But the awesome thing about those is that they are actually written in JavaScript. So you can completely code your own variables inside of chat control red. When you go to messages, by the way, you can also completely customize join messages, kick messages, quit messages. You can make every single group have a different one. It is so customizable. But I would highly, highly recommend checking out their wiki page as all the information from installation to configuration, commands, permissions, localization, it is all here. So if you want to know what permissions to use, for example, you can just click on that and there you go. All the permissions that your player should have, what all the different permissions do, all that information is here. Now, while I would love to show you a full tutorial on how this plugin works all the way from start to finish, it would just be impossible. This plugin is so big and so customizable that everyone will use it in a completely different way. Now, I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you want to check out Chat Control Red for yourself, there will be a link in the description. And then this will be all for now. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.